Now we all know that the VRS is India's premier tuner car, but what if you don't want all of that hardcore stuff like stiff suspension and the sporty uh, seats inside? What if you want a more chilled out and comfortable version of that same car? Well, it doesn't get much better than this. This is a Skoda Superb and it has a VRS engine and a stage 3 setup. And I'm going to tell you all about this amazing build today. So let's not mess around and talk directly about what has been done underneath the hood. This isn't the stock superb engine, this is a VRS engine swapped inside and this probably was a superb 1.8 and now it has the 2 litre TSI from the VRS and it has a bunch of mods done to it. So they're so long and it's so vast that I have to pull out my phone and explain each and every one step by step. So let's start off with the Forge CHA engine. Uh, you have updated valve springs which can take up to 43 PSI of boost at 8600 RPM. You have a DQ250 gearbox, a superb DQ250 drive shaft, uh, the IS20 turbo, uh, R600 intake, 4 bar map sensor, 5 bar key map, APR low pressure fuel pump, uh, Autotech high pressure fuel pump, Golf R injector, CSF radiator, Wagner intercooler. Uh, the braking setup is sorted out by 380mm 8 piston front brakes which are absolutely gigantic and at the rear you have 356mm 6 piston rear brakes so you know this car is going to stop on a dime uh, you have Motec MC3 rims which look absolutely fantastic in my opinion and you have some 255 section PS5 tyres which yeah well they're super grippy and I'm pretty sure even with this much amount of power this car won't lose traction at all a custom race scattered turbo back exhaust system Kodiak fans uh, so basically the Kodiak gets a dual fan setup whereas VRS's Superbs and all of those cars get a single fan setup and especially in Delhi as you can see I'm completely drenched in my own sweat cooling is a big factor and yep that's a very much needed uh, upgrade for this car the ECU remap has been sorted out by GT Tuner so is the TCU remap currently only running stage 1 but uh, the boys at GT Tuners are planning to do an APR DTR turbo upgrade to this and Currently, it's making around 310 to 320 horsepower, but once the DTR goes in, it'll push probably 400 to 410 horsepower, which is absolutely bonkers for this sort of car. And yeah, I think so we should head into the interior because the interior also is a little bit tweaked and I think so after that we have to take it out for a quick spin. into the interior and yeah it's a very comfortable and a very plush uh, driving experience because yeah whereas the VRS you know it's super aggressive you have red accents Alcantara sports seats a very sporty steering wheel the suspension is super stiff the Superb is the exact opposite of that you have some really nice leatherette seats uh, you know this being the LNK variant you know you have the massive sunroof you have uh, some really nice looking interiors you know massive screen up front and yeah it's just a very very nice interior now for someone like me who's 22 uh, the VRS is obviously my choice but if you're someone who's in their 30s or 40s you know you want something that's a bit more subtle you know a bit a bit more understated and that's exactly what the Superb gives you and yes it might have the VRS's 2 litre inside but if you remember after 2019 the Superb actually got the 2 litre TSI not the same one which is in the VRS but it still got it and even if you don't get that you can still get the 1.8 TSI Superb which is pretty potent as well so this does have the VRS engine yes but even if you want to do mods to your own Superb a 1.8 or the uh, 2 litre Gen 3 B engine will do just fine coming to the interior again well yeah it has a couple of tweaks here and there which are not stock first of all you have these paddle extender which are super subtle you know it's not against the OEM plus look but something that's a little bit against the OEM plus uh, uh, look is the AEM boost gauge over here 
and yeah i think so that will be super cool while driving because you can see what sort of boost the engine is running and all of that stuff so yeah that's going to be super interesting to see and moreover i think so the best part about the superb is that you have that massive back seat over there you know you can take your family to long road trips without any hassle the boot is super massive you know no problems at all in terms of being a road trip machine so yeah i think so time to start up the car and take it out for a quick grill spin so what are the first things that you noticed after you know you've driven a vrs and you jump into a superb is the suspension the suspension is super comfortable very plush and you know it's not hard or stiff like the vrs the vrs is meant to be like a performance car whereas the superb is a more chilled out uh driving experience you know it's not meant to go around the corner fast rather it's meant to go around the corner comfortably so that's one of the first things that you notice is that this car isn't as dialed in as a vrs and that thing is a little bit of a downside because once you go around a bend you can instantly feel that this thing has a lot of body roll but again you have to keep in mind that this car isn't meant to be like a vrs so you can't expect that sort of performance out of this thing this thing shines if you take it on to a long straight highway and you want to you know put bmws and mercedeses to shame this car is the perfect thing for that sort of specific job because it's a long comfortable sedan and once you put your foot all the way down it is so fast i mean you don't understand how fast it is because the car is much larger much longer much heavier so the sensation of speed is reduced a little bit but once you have a look at the speedometer you're into the triple digits you know in an instant so it's very very fast and one thing that i like about this particular build is that it still stays true to what it is because at the end it's still a superb and the owner of this car first of all is a big skoda fan- fanatic apparently he has 15 skodas in his garage and that just goes to show that skoda is you know the tuner brand for us indians and this car isn't running any sort of you know loud as downpipe you know it's not making any sort of pops and bangs or crackles but when you want it to perform it builds the boost and launches you and the funny thing is that it might have all of the sauce for you know doing stage 3 and going all the way but it's still running a stage 1 map and even with that it's making 310 to 320 horsepower which is ludicrous and you know i know you guys are probably getting a little bored of the ea888 content you know we're just trying to milk it as much as possible that w- that's what it seems like but these cars is just so interesting and each and every car just has something different that we always want to talk about and you know this is something that you don't really see i mean this is a long you know proper sized luxury sedan with a performance car engine so you know this is very interesting and i know these roads that we are driving on aren't really the natural habitat for this sort of car and this thing would absolutely shine on a long stretch uh, highway which is actually pretty easy to find in an area like gurgaon but you know due to some logistical stuff we can't go over there but yeah i mean this thing is very fun to drive in that sense and i'm pretty sure once we get on to a highway it'll be even more fun but the real question is how do you justify this sort of a build to your significant other well there is one instance where you can actually you know justify it let's say you're a very important businessman and you're getting late for a business meeting so that is one of the reasons why you should put a vrs engine into your skoda superb so that once you're getting late you can actually tell your chauffeur or your driver in this case shresh to you know punch the car and once you punch it it actually goes somewhere and yeah even in the back over here it's super comfortable you know there's nothing nothing's been changed it's still a superb inside only with a vrs engine you know you have the nice lnk seats it's super comfortable i have tons of leg room you know nothing to complain about it's just a very very nice experience over here in the back yeah you wouldn't even find out that this is a 2 liter vrs engine swap skoda superb that's how good and that's how dialed in this car is hats off to gt tuners for that
So what are my final thoughts on a build like this? Well, this might be a little bit more of an extreme build because you don't really need to put a VRS engine into your Superb to make it go fast. You know, a 1.8 TSI or even a 2 litre TSI, heck, even a 2 litre TDI Superb cuts the job very, very well in terms of mods, in terms of extracting tons of power. So, you know, this particular build might be on might be a little bit on the extreme side but yeah nonetheless it's a very unique build something that's super interesting to see something that's super interesting to drive and if you have a superb with any of them and with any of the engines that i just mentioned and those are the only engines that you get actually yeah definitely modding your superb is not a bad idea because it's actually pretty capable in that sense Thank you so much for watching this video. A big shout out to GT Tuners for letting us cover this amazing build. This thing is, yeah, super interesting and, yeah, very unique. Do give them a follow on Instagram because these guys are some of the most insane people in the Delhi NCR region. They work on some amazing cars. They have some amazing builds. Yeah, shout out to them. Do subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram. Check out our website for some amazing content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.